My name is Tyler Schlenbaker and I did my final project on Parkinson's disease. Um, Parkinson's disease is an incurable neurological degenerative disorder um, of the central nervous system. It uh, gradually results into disability. Um, there are more than 1 million people um, living with Parkinson's disease and about 7 to 10 million worldwide. Um, 60,000 Americans each year are diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. Um, it's characterized by stiff, rigid muscle, uh, rigid movements, um, slow movements called bradykinesia, um, and tremors. Um, it usually begins between the ages of 50 to 65 years of age. Um, it affects more men than women. Um, the disease is more common in um, developed countries and um, people in r rural areas and um, certain professions tend to get the disease uh, more than others. Um, average life expectancy is actually still about the same as a person without Parkinson's disease. Um, it was originally um, described after James Parkinson in 1817. Um, he published a paper called Shaking Palsy where he described the um, symptoms with uh, Parkinson's dis disease. Um, some of the symptoms are the tremors in hands, arms, legs, jaw, or the head, rigidity, which is stiffness of the limbs and trunk, um, slow movements called bradykinesia, um, and postural instability. Um, there's five stages with Parkinson's disease, and they're described, are called the hone and yard stages. Um, in the first stage, um, the patient experienced just mild symptoms, um, difficulty performing daily tasks, um, which they would otherwise complete easily, um, changes in facial expressions, balance, and posture. Um, in the second stage, the symptoms affect uh, the person on both sides of the body. Um, the trouble, trouble maintaining balance, uh, walking, physical tasks become harder to complete. Um, the third stage, um, they're more obvious, the symptoms, um, slower movements, challenging for the, for the person to even stand or walk. Um, in the fourth stage, they get more severe. A um, person might not even be able to complete any tasks, um, need someone else to help them. Um, there's increased muscle rigidity and bradykinesia. Um, in the final stage, um, the person's unable to even take care of themselves, um, needs nursing care, um, they lose the ability to do any type of physical movements, um, might, might not be able to stand or walk. Um, people wonder how this disease occurs. Um, there's no actual cause to Parkinson's disease, but it occurs when the neurons in the brain deteriorate um, in the area known as the stem, substantia nigra. Um, this, uh, the neurons of the, of the substantia nigra produce the chemical called dopamine. Um, the dopamine is responsible for transmitting messages between the substantia nigra and the corpus striatum of the brain. Um, these messages produce smooth, balanced bodily movements. Um, so the person with Parkinson's disease lacks the dopamine, which resolves in um, poor nerve functioning and uh, loss of ability to control movements. Um, in Parkinson's disease, um, there's really n no reason why the neurons become affected and impaired. Um, diagnosing Parkinson's disease, there's actually no current way to diagnose the disease. Um, the, the physicians will do MRIs, brain scans, CTs to rule out any type of other disorders. Um, usually those tests come back normal in a person with Parkinson's disease. Um, the physician will collect medical history, you know, perform neurological examinations and they'll make a decision from there um, and, and conclude the diagnosis. Um, it's hard to even diagnose in the early stages of Parkinson's disease. Um, right now the treatments for Parkinson's disease are um, a common drug that is used is called um, levodopa. Um, it's a chemical building block that the body converts into dopamine and nerve cells use it to make do dopamine increase the brain supply. Um, levodopa is helpful in decreasing tremors and, mo and uh, motor symptoms in the early stages of Parkinson's. Um, another procedure called pallidotomy. Um, the surgeon destroys the pallidus in the brain um, which slows down the process of the thalamus um, to reduce tremors, rigidity, and bradykinesia. Um, then there's this, the thalamotomy, which is surger, um, surgeon just destroys the, the thalamus just to reduce the tremors. Um, there's also what we call deep brain stimulation. Um, the surgery requires a physician to place an electrical implant um, into the brain that controls the signals and this helps reduce the tremors and the stiffness. Um, this treatment is comparable to a pacemaker for the heart. 
Um, it also has an advantage um, compared to the other surgeries that the person is able to turn the electrical device on and off. Um, in a research provided um, by the Parkinson's UK and the U University of Birmingham, um, this 10-year study compared the deep brain stimulation um, to drugs and found out that a person takes one-third less of medication and that their symptoms improved um, with the deep brain stimulation compared to the drug treatment. Um, there's other ways that a person can treat uh, Parkinson's without the surgeries or medication. Um, there's therapy that can be helpful. Um, this would help improve patients' functioning um, and their overall quality of life. Um, they can work on performing tasks such as getting out of bed, walking up steps, balance activities. Um, some of the therapies are occupational therapy, which the therapist's goal is to make the patient as independent, independent as possible. Um, and continue to perform their activities deal of daily life with less assistance. Um, physical therapy, which can work on techniques, movements, strengthening um, for improved posture. Um, the therapist will work on their gait. Um, a lot of people with Parkinson's tend to have a, um, what we call festinating gait, which is just shuffling of the feet. Um, speech therapy is used for them um, to continue to communicate and work on their um, swallowing. A lot of people with Parkinson's disease lose it, have trouble swallowing. Um, so combining all these therapies can help improve their overall quality of life. Um, exercise is important in patients with Parkinson's disease. Um, inactivity can be a factor in speeding up the process of Parkinson's disease. Um, so it's important for that person to stay active um, and incorporate a regimen um, for um, onset of symptoms, even after onset of symptoms. Um, there's been studies that focus on appropriate exercise to limit the negative effects of Parkinson's disease. Um, people with Parkinson's disease begin to lose flexibility um, in the body. They may develop tight hip flexors, hamstrings, which um, lead to flex posture and poor balance. Um, Margaret Shankman, she developed a program called Axial Mobility Exercise Program, which she focused on axial movements and stretches to increase flexibility and movement, um, which used um, and emphasize breathing techniques and muscle work relaxation uh, while performing range of motion exercises of the trunk um, and the neck to improve flexibility. Um, in our research article, the effect of physical exercise movement strategies program on mobility, falls, and quality of life in Parkinson's disease, they did a follow-up study on 15 um, patients suffering from Parkinson's disease and they were attending 90-minute rehab programs where they saw a significant improvement in their Tinetti balance scores and they had less, less um, risk of falls overall. Um, continuing with the Parkinson's disease and exercise, it's also important to maintain strength. Um, people with Parkinson's tend to lose muscular strength due to the loss of stimulus of motor neurons. Um, so they lose strength in the extensor muscles of the hip and trunk. Um, these are muscles that are important for maintaining upright posture. So a lot of people with um, Parkinson's disease tend to get a forward kind of flexed posture. Um, so they kind of aim towards uh, improving their overall um, posture. So it's important to exercise about two to three times a week. They can do high intensity training, aerobic conditioning, such as a treadmill, water aerobics, um, and then just walking. Um, one of the most devastating impairments with Parkinson's disease is the a loss of balance and falls. About 66 people fall and 46 have reoccurring falls. Um, some of these factors happen from kind of a freezing episode, poor gait, muscular weakness, balance issues all cause the falls. Um, there's multiple interventions to improve balance. Um, people are doing Tai Chi, yoga, um, recently the Nintendo Wii is being used. Um, even studies have shown that 20 minutes um, treadmilling, 20 minutes um, biking, and then 20 minutes using the Nintendo Wii um, for balance um, have improved a person's Tenetti scores for balance and then their overall Parkinson's rating scale too. Um, there's multiple research doing um, being done right now to, um, dedicated to finding a cure for Parkinson's. Um, the National Institute for, uh, of Neurological Disorders and Stroke um, have programs that collaborate with the Michael J. Fox program, um, Michael J. Fox Foundation, sorry, um, where they recruit volunteers where they want to follow and track the progression of the disease. Um, also, the Morris um, Udall Centers of Excellence um, 
It's a research program that is established to find causes and, and improve treatments for the disease. Um, the NINDS has set up clinical studies for deep brain stimulation, um, exercise genetics, um, dyskinesia, mitochondria studies, nerve growth factors, um, and stem cell research. Um, they look for volunteers for these clinical studies to get a better understanding of Parkinson's disease. Um, overall, um, Parkinson's just continues to affect a million, um, you know, millions of people worldwide. Um, you know, it's characterized by the rigidness, the tightness, um, slow movements, tremors. Um, it begins with decreased dopamine levels in the brain um, and diminished neurons. Um, some people also believe that the environment plays a role or that it's hereditary, but there's no really known cause. Um, and now there's many options that were not available for, before, so they're hoping to one day find a cure for Parkinson's disease.